major. It's going to hide on G4. That's what it's going to try to do, hide on G4. It's a very interesting game. It's, you know, I'm letting the advantages slip. The game I lost, I'm sure I had an advantage there, but I couldn't figure it out. And it comes with moves. So I'm down to three games. And I can see the on G4. All I could take, I suppose. Let's see. I don't think he gets. If he gets some potential check, then great. Okay. This turn. I'll turn over here. Oh, he took. No, uh, should end it. Very good game. Mm -hmm. Impressed. Okay. Uh, I have uh, done two games. What did he do here? Didn't do anything yet. Okay. So it's almost one on one. So I was trying to checkmate him, and he stopped that. Very good. But now. You, know, you run into a situation where <clears throat> maybe you try to checkmate me. Attack inside is a piece of head. Couldn't get the attack. This was kind of big. Let me see a four check. Just looks nasty. Okay, so the cycle is now just almost two and a half hours long. You know, I often draw because I don't think I can win. I don't think you can either admire you for continuing to play. Definitely found some ways to try to get some attacking chances. I was wrong on my maneuver of trying to get uh, Robert to C4 by like taking away C5 from you. So my B5 was premature, but you know, it's all right. You know, the ideas. I mean, you put these, these maneuvering ideas together with the right order and you win games, you know. In theory, I could have won maybe with white or black here. Um, again, somebody in my rating, you know, in a real game, not a, you know, playing West Chester or chess. Okay. So let's see. I, oh, that's my move over here. So we took that. Is the only press I should worry about. Now he doesn't. Alright, let's exchange. He's got two bishops on board. I have to be very careful here. Okay, now my turn. Okay, I guess we'll put him this in the draw here shortly. Or maybe not. Let's fix that pawn on a dark square. Let's see. I got time here. Um, let's fix something on the dark square. So let's see. Here, 
here, here, here, takes, I have to block the physics. Not a lot of work to get that back. Okay. All right. Now his, his pawns are all weak, and this is the one that's a danger. But it takes one, two, three, and he needs to get on that diagonal because I want to put a pass on four, five, six, seven, eight, moves to get a queen. Okay, now I need one, two, I'll hit this. And he'll have to stop and come back over, and I gave you a tempo. So one, two, one. Bishop here is two, bishop here is three, bishop here is four, five, six. I can also send my king over to help. Uh, but getting this outside pass pawn is critical. Uh, okay, let's go for it and see what happens. I want this over. I don't care if I lose this game. I just want it over. Okay, so now, um, he, missed, he found the uh, threat I had. Now we got to win this game. How do we do this? Well, we take him down with England. Well, we actually, we try to check them before we start. That's possible. Uh, but we can get a pin with a check. Let's see. And now you can use the king. I it's going to chase me out. Okay, so I... One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven. Let's probably get all the way to the eighth rank, seventh rank. Um, let's see how many moves to get to D8. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Turn over here. So there's my pin. Now, uh, Rook 
here. Down there. That is not something I should worry about. Uh, I can play Bishop 86 here. That's kind of clever. Um, Bishop 86. Now I'm going to get some weak work cards in the kitchen. So let's chase this queen again. Let's see if I can get rid of these arrows. They're on my way. Okay, look here, attacks is queen. Uh, it goes over there. No, he can't go there, I think. We've got a nice pinpoint here. Okay, look down here. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. It's, I do this tactic so that. Okay. Next up, B6, and you can't get through. Okay. So, missing how this blockade is there. Keep them blockaded and use my king to advance. As king advances, I put the bishop on uh, b6. Of course, if I advance my king too far, uh, f7 falls. So if he advances his king too far, d4 falls. So, you know, it's. Uh, I actually like black now. I don't think it's winning for black. But uh, I like black here. Okay, so let's see. Two games left. His queen is loose. He's got to step into another pin here with uh, queen d8. Now both, you know, his, bishop, his king and queen both got to get the heck out of there. Uh, then I can play something like queen uh, a2 and attack his rook. So I have to make sure I don't hang d5. That's what check. <coughs> okay, so let's see. Oh, my turn over here. That doesn't do any good. I block a. So I guess I'm going to have to play d5 at some point, but that's fine with me. Here's the thing, I just have two pieces on these five lines, and I've cut his game off. Okay, well, this is the way to go. Um, check. Okay, 
So, Sambo's almost over. Let's see. How much time does he have? He's down to six and a half minutes, seven minutes. So, I'm just going to go attack F5. Okay. What's, what's he trying to do here? The worst that can happen is my bishop has to sacrifice itself for this pawn, and I lose this pawn. Two, three, four moves to take it. Now, his king is still in the interesting thing. The king is still in the uh, the region to stop the pawn. Uh, now, I could, if I play here, he has bishop e8 and he's threatening e6. So, Here, this, this is a threat. It's amazing, huh? Um, so you know, I can't win. There was, there are some possibilities, but uh, the trick is to tie his king or his bishop down to that pawn. Now, so put his king here. One, two, three. Four to take one, two, three, four. So I need to lure his king back to the pawn so that my king can come up to f5 and win this one back. So this is the move. Okay, I'm going to turn over here. Okay, so queen d8. Now, Nothing is guarding his rook. So if I put the queen here, there's my queen takes pawn check. Crap. <laughs> okay, I need that. Headache. So let's see, queen d3. Uh, C7, and I can take, and he can take, and then I can play queen here. And he's pinned. I'm going to chase his rook. Now he's an interesting interference move. And you have to watch out for queen d3, rook d4. Now bishop takes, here comes a check. And he steals that, but he doesn't have time to steal because this is all oh, okay, so queen d3 it is. Okay, now I have time for king here. I think I have done. Um let's see. Come on here. On here. King here. Yeah, it's a crazy tactic. Um, Just out my pawn in his tracks. Um,
We still, you know, we'll tie down here. Uh, King here. Whoops. <laughs> King here. See, it doesn't draw the arrows right. Bishop here. King here. Bishop takes. Now I have H3. But he has E6. And I have to go here. And this goes here. I push. This goes here. And I check. Hmm, right this is not what happened this game. 15, 16 minutes. So King G6, let's look at this again. King G6, Bishop E8, H3, E6. Ah, I just push H2. I don't have to mess with the check. So Bishop King G6, he doesn't have time for Bishop E8, that Bishop E8 trick. So here, I'm gonna try to actually make sure I'm messing this up. My idea is to what is my idea? Oh ah mouse slip. <laughs> but it should be good enough. My king will just go into King will just go into, you know, I try to draw with arrows and what happens? It makes moves. Uh, okay, so what over there? Well, I don't know if that's enough. So, let's see. Okay. Can you take a move back in these things? to this. Um, you know, it's time for this bishop b6 move. Queen takes. Rook takes check. Bishop here. And I get that. Bishop B, Bishop B6, Queen B, I can't play Queen B7, I can't play Queen B7, I take this Queen, okay, Bishop, this is what I was looking at earlier, it comes back, okay, Queen takes, Rook takes, check, Okay, so you're suggesting, okay, see, I don't know how to use the take back on this, okay. 
but he says king d6, king g7, king d5. King d6, king g7, king d5. King D7. Okay. What was I looking at? I was looking at King G6. takes I don't do that. Okay, work here. And for an F8 and two. And he's out of checks. Okay, so that one to the end. Now I'll get back to this one. Okay. What was I looking at? <laughs> uh, King G6. Bishop E8. H3, E6, E2, push, and I got a queen. Okay, so King G6. Very nice to get back in the Ever after to take back, you know, it's just part of online chess. I'm going to play casual chess with people who fight weaker players, and if they uh, get a losing position, I go back and try something else. This, you know, the 10 moves was the fun of that. You know, we'll see me do three times. Okay, so King G6. So King G6. If King C6, I go after the pawn. And he has to put his king back to protect the pawn. Okay, so we'll just go for it. Game. That was a tough game. 
Okay. Okay, so this king is in the way of his bishop. I don't know what happens on King F8. I'm not going to worry about it. You know, these things take your toll. Take your toll. 65 years old. And feel like I'm 20, but I think I'm 20, but I don't. <laughs> Just can't hold the ball together all the time. Let's see. Going on uh, on H4 gets a little dangerous. Careful. There's one drawback I'm just noticing here. Let's see. You know, his pawn controls the square, his bishop controls the square, and his king can control the square. And, and But if his king goes after the pawn, he's going to drop the one on the five. So, you know, it's, a, it's basically a draw. It's more than a lose this. Which I'm quite capable of. So, there. We're going to the position to get some time on the clock. So you're going to go after the pawn that way. Okay, well, I'll just put this here and can't 
I go up, you chase, I go up from a pawn, so I just come back to uh, G7, I don't see any of the progress. I don't see any of my progress here. I offer him to draw about 10 15 moves to the corner. So. In general, I regret it. Unless it's a dead draw. This is almost a dead draw. Unless I'm really blind. I need to quit chess and burn checkers or something. It's you know, usually not proper to offer him to a second draw. to this king can't protect e5 and and uh, escort the pawn on e6 who's gonna play there okay well now I'll put the king here on f8 Those light squares on the dark squares. That's just the way things are. So what can white do here? Um, you know, he can't send his king to collect the h pawn without losing the e pawn. He can't send his king to help the b pawn without losing his e pawn. Our bishop still controls the squares. They certainly can't coordinate to um, to uh, win my F7 pawn. And then, uh, this is a dead draw. I'm gonna. I need to take a restroom break and come back and make another video.